If this video reaches 100 likes, I'm gonna upload a video showing you how to AFK Horde Beacons on Buak. So, first off, we're starting off with the basics, which is, what is a Horde Beacon? So, a Horde Beacon is a generator-like looking thing. You can place it only in cities like Cherry Cape, Pine Point, Burywood, and Tay Town. And it's gonna generate a Horde of 125 zombies and one Mega Zombie. A Horde Beacon is craftable by using Four stacks of titanium, one stack of electrical components, four electrical wires and ten nuts and bolts. And I'm gonna show you what loot you can get right now. There is a few ways to do horde beacons. I recommend using a katana or a pistol weapon. Now recently in the last update which was today, the pistols got buffed. So you're actually doing way more zombie damage. But I'm gonna show you a few ways to do the horde beacons in each city and I recommend doing it with like a few people so that you get loads more loot instead of just almost nothing. So I'm gonna go over to find point and first thing I'm gonna show you is this far station. Well, I'm gonna show you that later as well. So we're gonna go over to this far station and you're gonna need a friend who's gonna shoot all the spitters. Remember, the spitters are your biggest, biggest problem of horde beacons. I'm gonna put a horde beacon over here and I'm gonna turn down my game volume a bit. I'm gonna get in here and you can see I can kill the zombies very, very easily from here. The other spot I'm gonna show you in Pine Point is gonna be this right there. The fuel tank above the gas station. So you're gonna go over here and you're gonna want the zombies to stack up on you. As we can see. Yep, exactly like that. They're gonna come over here, you can hit them from here. You can do it with like a lot of people. And you can hit them. The spitters are gonna be your problem again. But you can easily deal with them. So I'm on Cherry Cape right now. And on this city, you can do it easy, like right here. And I don't believe there are any other spots that you can do Horde Beacon easily on Cherry Cape. And I don't think there are any easy spots to do Horde Beacon on this city. So I don't recommend doing it at all over here. You can do it at Burrywood, which is probably the best location in my opinion. Because first off, um, I'm gonna place a Horde Beacon down. You have this here, where you can hit with like multiple, multiple people. And then you have this truck over here. You can go here if you like. And you can hit him like this. You need a friend to shoot the spitters because you're gonna have problems with that. I believe this is also working. Let's see. Yep. So you can have multiple people at different spots in the cities just killing zombies and a guy like watching out for other other people. I'm gonna quickly do this, okay. You can also do it here. So there are just many 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 spots where you can abuse the horror beacon system and make it easy for you. Here as well. Now, yes, this is a quick guide, and I just wanted you guys to know how to easily do horde beacons. And as I said, I'm gonna show you how to fully AFK automate the horde beacons if this video gets 100 likes. So, like it, and I'm gonna make sure to upload as fast as possible whenever this gets 100 likes.